Hello everybody and welcome to the finale of Dark Matter. Before we begin, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. It really helps out the channel. With that out of the way, today we're going to be playing the final scenario, Scenario 6, Starfall. <clears throat> okay, super excited, let's just get on into it. Let's do it. Okay, so we're starting off with Amina's Binder's Jar, Elder Bosch, Word of Woe, Binder's Jar, and Gassy Possession. So, we're going to keep L, and we're going to toss the rest, because we're looking for our weapons, please. So, we have Eldritch Initiation, Word of Wheel, David Renfield, Overpower. Uh, I think that'll be fine. Eldritch Initiation should help us get to where we need to go. Vince is going to draw. Girish, look what I found. Burnout Reading, Scientific Theory, and another Scientific Theory. We can toss these three and look for three more. Looking for some, maybe healing? I don't know. Burn Mind, Percept, uh, sorry, your magnifying glass at the end of the road. Okay, that's not bad either. <clears throat> okay, let's read the story. It is beyond doubt that the sun is experiencing an unprecedented acceleration in the decay of its forgotten of sorry of its hydrogen core. K2 PS187 estimates that there are only a few years left before the fusion reactions that fuel our star will run out of gas and collapse on itself, generating a radioactive supernova that will destroy all life within a few light years. Whatever the cultists have done within Fragment has doomed our solar system to a premature end. Your only hope now is to convince the remainder of the various colonies of humanity this accelerated death and help them gather the resources and technology necessary to survive the supernova in any way possible. K2 PS187 makes, makes the preparations for the navigation console as you brace for the many months long journey ahead of you, traveling across the solar system to save humanity. Check your campaign log. If the investigators know of the abjuration of the throne, proceed to another path, otherwise skip the setup. We do not. <clears throat> so let's get the chat. Got a little cards from this corner set. So we have Starfall. We have Anachronism. We have Deep Space. End Times. Agents of Yogg-Sothoth. And then we're going to set aside this Haster's Gaze and Counter Set. <clears throat> set the following cards aside out of play. Uh, all of these things. Deselta Location, Dilmag Teal, uh, the Amigo Sentinel, Feaster from Afar. And then also set aside the Dark Matter Agenda and Tisilda's Awakening set, uh, Act, as well as the Tisilda Enemy. Uh, side out of play, fine. Check the campaign log. If Elbrus Station has been fully stabilized, it has. Set aside the Arno Story Asset out of play. That's this one. Otherwise, set aside the Project, project Origami Asset story, story Asset out of play. If the Nostalgia 2 has been saved, we have not. So, set aside the Last Hope story asset aside out of play. And if you are allied with the Migo, we are. Set aside the Migo Collector story asset out of play. <clears throat> Create the scanning deck. That's done by doing all of the things. We have like an enormous deck of scanning locations. Look at this thing. So many. Uh, put the following locations into play. Tattered Demelian. Mars, Asteroid Belt, and Pluto. Each investigator begins play at the Tattered Demelian. For every tally mark under impending doom in your campaign log, begin the scenario with one additional doom on the agenda. So we have six tally marks next to impending doom. And then we shuffle the encounter cards. All right, I'm going to go quickly. Let's do this. So we have Starfall up here. <clears throat> we have our act. Our agendas. There's six doom there. We have our locations, out of the million, asteroid belts, Mars, and Pluto. But again, here. Then I think everything else is ready to go if I just shuffle all these up. So I'll be right back. And we are now ready to begin. So let's take a look at our agenda. Zooming in here. Journey across space. The sun is getting hotter every day. There might not be enough time to save everyone. K2 PS187 has preemptively plotted the trajectories to the three major population centers within the solar system, but you will have to decide which ones to prioritize saving. 
Free trigger during a skill test, cross out one tally mark next to your memories. Reduce the difficulty of this test by one. 12 Doom Threshold, it has six Doom to start. And just for reference, Amina has one memory, Vincent has none. End times. Aboard the Tattered Dominion, you and your companions traverse the solar system to find a way to survive the blast and save as many as you can before the inevitable end. As an action, scan, search the topmost card in the scanning deck with an icon matching your current location and draw it to shuffle the scanning deck. Objective, find and complete as many objectives as possible before the incoming supernova. If each undefeated investigator has resigned, advance. We are playing on standard difficulty. We have two skulls, which are a minus X. X is half the number of revealed locations without clues rounded up. We have two cultists, which are a minus three. If you fail by two or more, take a damage and a horror. We have three tablets. Increase the difficulty of this skill test by one. Reveal another token. And we have two elder things, which are minus three. If you fail, you must either place the doom on the current agenda or take a horror for each point you fail by. And of course, we're starting at the Tattered Demalion. The Tattered Demalion is large, lumbering, and slow. The piloting and most internal systems are controlled by the cybernetic computer K2 PS187. Choose route zero clues. The Tattered Demalion is connected to attached location and vice versa. Moving to or from the Tattered Demalion does not count as an action. Free trigger. As an action, attach the Tattered Demalion to any location. Investigators at any location may activate this ability. Limit once per investigator per round. Okay, let's get this show on the road. <clears throat> I mean, he's gonna go first. I think he's gonna start with an Eldritch Initiation, hopefully finding some weapons. So that lets us draw two cards. It is Brandon Cathunga and Overpower. Okay, that is fantastic. <clears throat> We're gonna play Elder Bosch. Let's put her up here. And then Using our ability, we're going to put this, or we're going to play this, adding a Doom to it to reduce its cost, and then using L to attach it to her. That's nine charges. Uh, that was three actions. Sure, she's good. Or I guess we could... Oh, no, we haven't actually attached it yet. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll hold off on that then. Okay, Vincent, you're going to play Girish, Tadakia, <clears throat> and also the Maglas and the Scientific Theory, because why not? Play all the cards. So that's one action so far. He's going to take an action to attach Tatter Demillion to, let's say, the Asteroid Belt. We're going to use both free triggers to move to the Asteroid Belt. The United, let's say that Amina is moving first, just in case this matters. The United Colonial Coalition lies within the asteroid belt between the planets, Mars and Jupiter. This is where the Tatter Demillion was first constructed before being re re uh, reformed into a cultist ship. Two shroud, one clue. Uh, reaction at the end of your turn, heal a damage. Action, resign. Rejoin the United Col Colonial Coalition and try to live a normal life among the stars. Forged from the remains of mining outposts and scientific space stations, the UCC has one goal, the survival of humanity, or at whatever cost. <clears throat> um, okay. So let us now do with the free scan. Obviously, we'll take it to Vincent. So Vincent's looking for heart. Oh, top one. Mount Sinai. Four shroud, one per clues. Revelation, put it into play. Force, when you would scan at Mount Sinai, test agility one. This gets plus one, plus, sorry, this gets plus two difficulty for each clue on this location. If you fail, cancel that scan. Uh, we will use uh, Vincent's, sorry, we'll use Kate's effect to draw a card. Ooh, our cover conduit. <clears throat> okay, so second action, let's move here. Third action, let's investigate. We are investigating at a four, five, six. Let's use Garish. You go eight to four.
Minus two, we get a clue. <coughs> okay. Let us now go to upkeep. Amina is going to draw another copy of El Rubash. Vincent will draw the Bone Saw. Ooh. Okay, so there is seven out of twelve Doom because of L. Amina will draw Alienation. Put this card into play in your threat area. Your maximum hand size is reduced by the shroud value of your location. As an action, investigate. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, discard Alienation. So we have five cards in hand, so just don't end your turn at Mount Sinai. Vincent's going to draw. The stars were right. Revelation, attach this card to the location with the most clues without a copy of the stars were right attached. Fourth, after you fail a skill test by three or more at attached location, place a doom on the stars were right. Action, test three willpower. If you succeed, discard this card. I think we'll attach that to New Brooklyn. <clears throat> Just because uh, I'm not planning to stay there very long. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Let's have Vincent go next. We're going to investigate. Four, five, six. We'll use Gearish. Actually, no, we won't use Gearish. Six to four. Minus one. Very nice. Okay, and then we're going to attempt to scan. So now we're testing one to one. We're going to use Gearish to go three to one. And we test that. And we're, we're scanning with Kate, by the way. <clears throat> Ooh, minus five. We do not succeed that. So we fail. Uh, we did not perform a scan since we ca canceled it. So that's unfortunate. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I think we'll just try again. We are one to one. This is our second action. Zero. Okay. So we're looking for green diamond. Down. Shielding device. Revelation, put this card into play under the control of an investigator at your location. Reaction, when an investigator at your location takes any amount of damage and or horror, spend a resource and exhaust shielding device. Cancel that damage and or horror. Okay. That goes to Vincent. <clears throat> I think I did see another diamond in there. Oh, that's right here. So we could try again. Uh, also, since we successfully performed a scan, uh, we will gain a resource. Oh no, sorry, we failed one, right? So no, that was a free one though. So investigate, scan for free, scan, and then now we have a third action, which we'll just use the scan. One to one. Plus one. Wow, okay. Uh, we get this card. Oh, it's Exoroid. Two fights, two per investigator health, four evade. Spawn any asteroid belt location. Hunter retaliate. After you defeat Exoroid, shuffle it back into the scanning deck. That's not, that's not right. Uh, I guess we'll have it engage Vincent. Yeah. Because we didn't defeat it next turn. Because then Amina can scan this. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, that is Vincent's turn. Amina, you're going to move over here. These are connected, by the way. I should have done that. <clears throat> uh, you're going to scan. This is your second action. You're testing three to one. I'm going to commit this L to go four. Four to one. Four to two. Zero, okay. 
We do successfully scan, so we're looking for a green diamond again. Green diamond. Hey, it's Project Origami. Very nice. Revelation, put it into play next to the Act deck. Objective, help the UCC escape by proving the formula to fold space-time. If an investigator at, sorry, at Mount Sinai controls Universal Archives, remove it from the game and spend two per investigator clues as a group to add this card to the victory display. The data required to, is reported to have been discovered somewhere along the edge of the solar system. Oh, maybe we have to go to Pluto then. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we were going to use Kate's ability since it's limit once per round. Oh. Oh, the limit is on the card. Okay, so then, sorry, limit once per round. Uh, that was her second action, right? Was it? <clears throat> she moved and she did that. Yeah. So sure, let's attack this Exoroid. We're attacking at a three, four, five, six to two. Six to two. Skull is a minus one, minus one. So we will deal three charges. And deal three damage. Very nice. <clears throat> uh, okay, enemy phase. Damage and a horror. We'll put that on Gearish. Let's go to upkeep. Ready, Gearish. I mean, it's going to draw explosive ward. However, we are at hand size now since we have five cards and our hand size is reduced by four. Uh, I'll discard this. No. I'll discard this David Renfield. Vincent, press pass. Well, hopefully we will be spending clues. I think that sounds good. Okay, we were 8 out of 12 because of L. Amina will draw a Void Biaki. 3 fight, 3 health, 4 evade. Monster Biaki, spawn any location without clues on it. Hunter. Void Biaki moves as if it's all, if, sorry, if it's, as if all locations without clues are on them are connected to each other. Uh, sure, we'll just put it here. Here. <clears throat> okay, Vincent's card. Future Evils. Put it into play next to the agenda deck. Forced, after a scenario card places any amount of doom on a card, place an additional doom and discard future evils. This effect may cause the current agenda to advance. Uh, notably, uh, the Doom that normally gets placed via like the Framework event is not a Scenario card, so that won't get affected by that. Okay, uh, let's have Amina go first. You are going to attack the Void Biaki with the Burning Cathuga. Three, four, five, six, six to three. I'll commit this Overpower. <clears throat> Nine to three. Plus one, draw a card from overpower. It is the ceremonial sickle. That is fantastic. This is dead. I think Vincent can take care of this exoroid by himself, so that's good. We are going to then, uh, second action, move to New Brooklyn, and then use the free trigger to move to the Tower of Demalion. And then third action, we're going to play the ceremonial sickle, discounting its cost by three, putting a doom on it, and using L to attach it to her. Very nice. Vincent, you are going to attack the Exoroid. You're currently 4 to 3. You're going to use Gearish to go 6 to 3. Yeah. Minus 1. You do kill the Exoroid. Uh, after you defeat it, shuffle it back to the scanning deck. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, we'll use that to heal a damage off of Gearish, which gives him an on the mend. That's that. Second action, move here. Free trigger onto the Tattered Demalion. Third action, attach the Tattered Demalion to Pluto. Also use the free trigger. Let's use, let's go have Vincent go first to Pluto. 
Strange clicking noises can be heard emanating from the, hip, the barren surface on specific frequencies. Scientists believe that there may be life on this dwarf planet. Two shot, one clue. Forrest, after you reveal Yuggeth, spawn the set aside Mego Sentinel at this location. Mego, 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 Mego Sentinel. Uh, during your turn, if you are at a Pluto location or a starship location attached to a Pluto location, reveal and resolve an additional chaos token during skill tests you perform. Okay. Uh, Mego Sentinel is four fights, two per investigator, health, three evade, monster Mego. It is aloof. After you reveal a skull, cultist, tablet, or elder thing token at Mego Sentinel's location, move one of your clues onto Mego Sentinel. Force, when you defeat Mego Sentinel, take control of all of its clues. Okay. Uh, sure, Amina's also going to come with, so why not, <clears throat> at this point. And we have a bonus action to scan, so we might as well. So we're scanning for Moon. Moon, 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 Moon. That's not Moon. Moon. There's another Moon in there, but... <clears throat> okay. Threshold of Yuggeth. Three Shroud, two Professor Clues. Revelation put into play. Forced, when you would, when you would scan at Threshold of Yuggeth, reveal a random chaos token for each clue on Threshold of Yuggeth. If you reveal a skull, cultist, tablet, elder thing, or autofail token, cancel that scan and take a horror instead. Okay. I'm going to put this over here. And these are connected. And then uh, Vincent will use that to gain a resource, I think. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, this is aloof, so nothing happens. So let's go to upkeep. I mean, it draws deafening silence. That's not good. So let's move a doom from the Branicathuga, I think. Yeah. Uh, or it could be the sickle. No, no, Branicathuga. Uh, okay, that's nine doom. And then she gets a resource. <clears throat> Invincible draw, perception, get a resource. Okay, so there's a total of ten doom in play now. I mean, it will draw the dark forest. Put into play in your third area as an additional cost to trigger an action ability. Draw the top two cards of the encounter deck, then discard this card. Reaction, at the end of your turn, test Agility 4. If you succeed, discard this card. That's bad. That's very bad. Vincent will draw Future Evil. <clears throat> Is this a scenario card? Oh, it's moving, though. It's not placing, so that's fine. Um, okay. <clears throat> Uh, well, if I want to kill the Migo Sentinel, we have to do that. Sorry, this should have two clues. Uh, <clears throat> we don't actually need to kill this thing. As long as, long as it doesn't come on the ship. So let's have Vincent go first. Vincent is going to move over here. Uh, and you're going to investigate twice. So you're investigating currently four, five, six. We'll use this to go nine, sorry, eight, eight to three. Yeah, eight to three. Tablet eight to four. Succeed by four. Very good. Heal a horror from Girish. Get a clue. Uh, investigate again. I'm gonna commit this perception. Four, five, six, seven, eight, to eight, three. Zero, get a clue. Uh, we're gonna free action, sorry, draw from perception as well. It is deduction level two. That's pretty good. <clears throat> um, we're going to take the free scan. We, so we have to reveal two tokens. Uh, 
Two tokens. Well, we revealed it all the things, so we cancel it and we take a horror, which we will put on Garish. Okay, not the worst. <clears throat> um, there's no way we're passing Dark Forest, so I think we actually have to just tank it. We're gonna engage Migo Sentinel. We're gonna attack with the Brandica Thugga, additional cost, so we have to draw two cards. So, Anachronism, and then Cyber Cultus. So we'll get to Cyber Cultus in a second. Anachronism, test through willpower, free 45, by either, either discard a non-story as you control or take a horror. Three all. Oh, zero, good job, Amina. Okay, then we draw this. Spawn in any colony location. We'll spawn it here, so it's engaged with Amina. Forced after you perform a successful scan, place a duel on Cyber Cultus. Okay. Anyway, now we're triggering Brian Cathuga. So we are three, four, five, six to four. Uh, six to four. We're going to commit this over power to go eight to four. <clears throat> uh, reveal can no clues. One, two. So just minus one still. Okay, we draw a card off of Overpower. It is Dowsing Rod. We'll spend three charges to deal three damage. Uh, third action, sorry, then this card gets discarded. Third action, we're gonna fight with the bottom action on the sickle. We are three, four, five to four. We're gonna play Word of Wheel. Add our willpower to go eight to four. Three, four, five plus three is eight, yep. Eight to five. Skull is minus one, so we succeed. <clears throat> uh, we don't have any clues to move to the Migo Sentinel, so that's fine. We do defeat it, however. It does go to the victor display. We, get, uh, we remove this Doom. This goes away. We don't have Word of Woe in our discard pile. Nope. Uh, that was our third action. Okay. Enemy phase, this guy hits us for a horror. We'll put it on L. And let's go to upkeep. Amita will draw another Ceremony of Sickle. That's very good. Vincent will draw oh, uh, Inspiring Presence. Also very good. Uh, Vincent has eight cards in his hand, so we're good. And let's go to Doom. So we have uh, 10, 11. 11 Doom in play. Yeah, okay. Amina, Cold Vacuum. We've done this before. Test three fists. Uh, should we discard three cards or discard non story assets? <coughs> um, I'd like to not do that. I'm gonna commit this explosive ward, I think. Yeah. Five to three. Zero. Didn't need it, but that's okay. <clears throat> Visible draw. Oh, the Euthian Observer. Four fight, four health, three evade. When it attacks, you discard a card of random from your hand. Okay. Uh, okay, so we need to get over there now. <clears throat> we are in the witching hour, so that helps. Yeah, this goes on Vincent. Amina's gonna move to the threshold of Yugath. Attack of opportunity, take a horror. We were gonna use the sickle. Put a, put a doom on it. So we're attacking the Yithian Observer with three, four, five, six, seven, eight with our fist. Eight to four. Minus three, we succeed. Deal two damage. <clears throat> we're gonna use Sin Eater to move the Doom over and then attack again. Eight to four.
Uh, we'll use Girish at this point, because that's any investigator, uh, a skill test at your location. 10 to 4. Minus 1. Heal Horror off Girish, kill the Yithian Observer. Good job, Amina. You're doing the stuff. You're doing the stuff. <clears throat> that was Amina's turn. Okay, Vincent, you can scan to your heart's delight because we are in the watching hour. Let's investigate. Four, five, six, to three. Plus one, get a clue. Let's do it again. Minus four. Uh, we failed that. Four, five, six. Damn it. Okay, let's do it again. Skull is a minus one still. Get this clue. And then we have the bonus action from Kate's to scan, which we will scan. We don't have to reveal any tokens because there are no clues left. So we're looking for trefoil. Trefoil. There's another trefoil in there. Yeah. Repairing the threshold. Put this card next to the act deck. Objective, help the Migo travel back to their home world by returning the lost Yithian artifact. If an investigator at this look at Threshold of Yugoth controls the stasis cube, remove it from the game and spend two per clues as a group to add this card to the victory display. The strange beings of the Migo point out the numbers of the great race of Yith have been frequently spotted on Martian uh, territories. So we need to go to Mars. <clears throat> so these are going to be up here. And then we scan, so we'll use that to gain a resource. Ooh. Okay, things are going well, I think. Uh, let's go to upkeep now. Sorry, but the uh, enemies. Uh, this guy's gonna attack. We're gonna put that horror on Girish because we can. Yep. Then we upkeep. Upkeep, upkeep, up, up, up. I mean, it will draw sleuth. Oh, that's gonna be insanely good. I really, I need to play that. Holy shit. Vincent's going to draw Precious Memento. That's also going to be really good. Uh, we need to get rid of a card. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this on the men, funnily enough. Yeah. Okay, we're advancing. It's Soul. Revelation, put this location into play. Nine shrouds, zero clues. Forced after you enter this location, you are immediately killed. The sun glares with unrivaled intensity in the night sky, challenging and defeating all in the vicious battle for its attention. I'm going to put it here. <clears throat> Red sun. Solar flares and radioactive emissions have been surging in frequency beyond expected fluctuations. Despite the increasingly dangerous environment, you carry on with your quest to save the future of humanity. Same free trigger, five doom threshold. I mean, his encounter card is Yithian Observer. Okay, we have a lot of enemies to deal with, but that's okay. Vincent's encounter card is Void Biaki, any location without clues on it. Well, we might as well put it with us, I guess. Or we put it on the Tattered Demalion. No, there's no point. Sure, we'll just spot it here. It'll engage with Amina. Okay. Well, my hope of being able to play Sleuth have been scattered to the winds. Unless Vincent plays his bone saw and tries to do work, which is not the, not a bad idea, actually. <clears throat> it's not bad. It is not bad. Yeah. Yeah, Vincent, why don't you try something? So you're going to go first. Spend three to play the Bone Saw. We have two hands. Uh, who do we want to attack? Who do we want to attack? So I just realized that we should have been doing this. 
That's bad. During your turn, if you're at a Pluto location or a Starship location, attach to Pluto location, reveal and resolve an additional Kairos token. Uh, okay, so, well, we're just going to have to live with it. I, I made the mistakes. We're going to move on. Um, that's unfortunate. Let's try and kill this cyber cultist with a bone saw. Three, four, five, six to three. Uh, we're going to use, no, we're going to pump to go eight to three. And I'm going to reveal two tokens from now on. Sorry about missing that earlier. Cultist is a minus three, so it's minus five total. We were three, four, five, six, plus two is eight to three. That's a minus five. We succeed by zero. Good job. So this is dead. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to take the bonus action, to, or Vince is going to take the bonus action to scan. We're scanning for trefoil again. There it is. Universal Archives, put into play in a threat area. Sorry, in your, put, it, put it under control of an investigator location. Action, if the top card of the scanning deck contains an icon matching any revealed location, exhaust Universal Archives, scan. Scan as if you were at that location, shuffle the scanning deck. So currently we have circle and triangle in play. So Mars has to be revealed for us to do that. But we're gonna give that to Vincent. Uh, we're going to use Kate to gain a resource. <clears throat> uh, and then we have one more action left. We are going to move to Yagath and free trigger onto this. So why not? Uh, no, we're not. We need we need Girish. That's what we need. So third action, we are actually going to attack with the Bone Saw against this Yithian Observer. Yeah, that seems good. Three, four, five, where is it? Three, four, five, six. Six to four. Six to four. Six to four. <clears throat> sure, let's use Girish to go eight to four. We're also going to commit Inspiring Presence to go nine to four. Actually, no, we're gonna, instead of doing this, we're gonna use scientific theory while we have it, yeah. Three, four, five, six. We're gonna spend three resources to go to nine to four. And we're revealing two chaos tokens because I forgot to do this before. Minus four total, so we're good. We're gonna take a damage from Bonesaw Put on Garish to deal two damage. Okay, now it's Amina's turn. We're gonna start with the brand. We're targeting the Vord Biaki. We are testing three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and Vincent commits this to go nine to three. Two tokens. Minus six total, we were nine to three. Wow, Jesus. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine minus six is three. We succeed by zero. That's bad. Okay, <laughs> spend three charges to kill this thing. Uh, but then we lose the rest of our actions because we succeed by zero. So that's unfortunate. However, Inspiring Presence, we will ready Garish, heal a horror, and then Garish himself will heal himself a damage, getting an on the man for Vincent. Okay. Uh, okay, so then he has, the observer is just going to have to. Yeah, Amina is going to have to tank this hit. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go to enemy phase. Ethan Observer, when it attacks you, we're going to discard a random card from our hand. I really don't want it to be Sleuth because that would be amazing to be able to use, but we'll see how this goes. Where's my D6? Here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four is the second one. 
It is Sleuth, motherfucker. I hate everything going on right now. Damage and horror, we're gonna put it on Gears though. You motherfucking shit. God damn it! Okay, uh, let's go to upkeep. Amina's gonna draw Astral Mirror. Resource. Vincent's gonna draw Magnifying Glass. Resource. And we're good on hand size. <sighs> okay. One out of five. Amina will draw Colors of, colors of Space. Testing willpower. We are three to three. And it says during our turn at Yaga, so we don't need to reveal another digital chaos token. Minus five. This will go to our hand. Or our third area. That's fine. Visible draw. Anachronism. Uh, let's commit this on the men. Five to three. Five to four. Oh, God. Ah! Okay. We take four horror. Or we discard an ounce acid. We'll just discard this Magnus. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> oh, for each point you fail by. What? Okay. So then we can take three horror. One, two, three. Fine. Fine, fine. One. Two, three. Fine, game. Fine. <sighs> okay, we have to get out of here. <laughs> Um, attack, starting with Amina, putting a doom, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight to four, two tokens, oh, let's use Gearish, fuck it, ten to four, oh, sorry, second one. 11 minus 5 is 6 to 4. Good. We're good. We're good. This guy's dead. Get this out of here. Second action. Move here. Free trigger. Third action. Play Astral Mirror. Cost 3. Bonus action. Play Ceremonial Sickle. Discounting its cost. Putting a Doom on it. Switching Brandon Kathaka with the Ceremonial Sickle. Into L. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> That's Amina's turn. Vincent, move once. Free trigger here. Uh, we do have the clues to do Mount Sinai, right? Because this is what is it? Universal Archive. Mount Sinai controls the. Oh, to any location. Okay, we can just attach it there. Sure, let's just do it. Or we could go to Mars and do this now. Because there might be stuff. There might be stuff. <clears throat> yeah, maybe we want to keep this for now. Because we can do this whenever, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, second action. Let's attach it to Mars. Free trigger. We're going to... Move down. Many escaped to Mars on several Ark class ships where the when the ancient ones destroyed Earth. Now it is where most of humanity remains. Hope to shroud one clue. Reaction at the end of your turn, heal a horror. Action, settle down within the last bastion of humanity and hope for the best. The first structure of the colony was assembled in 2050, shortly after the end times began. Despite the harsh conditions, the colony slowly grew into the great metropolis it is today. Uh, we're going to free trigger Amina there as well. <clears throat> that was your second action. Uh, do we want to scan? There is something bad here, if I recall. We know we're going to get this one, so we might as well. Sure. Give us a bonus action to scan for this thing. Is Dr. Sisson. Revelation, attach Dr. Sisson to Hope. 
Objective, if Martian Crab is in the victory display, remove Dr. Assistant from the game and put the set-aside Last Hope Story asset into play next to the act deck. Okay. So this is when all the turn, all the tables turn. Uh, let's fast out this Megalas. Oh, we succeeded that check, right? Yeah, sorry. So this should have healed. We should have healed from Garish. Getting on the mend. Uh, third action. Oh, because we'll, oh, sorry. We'll use Kate to get uh, a resource. Right, and then third action, we're going to spend those resources to play. I'm going to play Press Pass. Yeah, let's, let's see how this card does. Because we have lots of ways to spend clues, I think. Yeah. Okay, enemy phase, nothing happens. Let's go to upkeep. Upkeep. Amina will draw. Gassy possession. Well, I guess technically we could do that on the Brandon Kathaga. It would waste an action, but it'll work. Uh, get a resource. <clears throat> Vincent will draw another copy of Girish Kadakia. What is our hand size right now? One, two, three. We're good. Okay. Two out of five. Amina will draw. Micrometeoroid. Test three agility. If you fail, you miss either. Take two damage. Sorry, they both should have healed the horror because they ended their turns there. No, Amina did, but Vincent did. Um, take two damage or discard each event in your hand. Okay. Three all. Okay, I don't want to move any Doom, but we do succeed. That's good. Oh, sorry. I had to have committed this because of Colors of Space. So that's unfortunate. Um, that's sad. Vincent, Offer of Power. We're going to take... Oh, no! Okay. We'll take two Horror. Scientific Theory will die. And then a Horror will go on Vincent. No. Oh! How about... How about... How about we don't? Because we have a shielding device. Bomb. Yep. I'll take that. Uh, okay. Are we ready to go? I guess we are. Amina! You're going to take the bonus action to scan. And we're looking for a particular crustacean, I think. This thing? Oh, it's a location. Uh, put this, it's the Olympus Telescope. Two shroud, one per clues. Put this location into play. Double action, investigate. Choose any revealed location. Investigate as if you were at that location. Ever since the last arc left, there has been, there has been no more radio signals received from our home planet. We're gonna use Kate's ability to draw a card. It is Eldritch Initiation. Uh, okay. I guess we just scan again? Yeah. Just scan again. Looking for circle again. Circle. The oh, oh god. Martian ruins. I was hoping for crab. Where's my crab? <clears throat> I think these are connected. Uh, put this location into play and spawn the set aside Yithian Guard enemy at this location. Yithian Guard. Yithian Guard. Yithian Guard. Yithian Guard. Uh, you cannot scan Martian ruins while there is a ready enemy at this location. Yithian Guard is a three fight, two per investigator health, four evade monster Yithian. Forced after you deal any amount of damage to Yithian Guard, choose and discard a card from your hand. Little is known about the great race of Yith. Rumor has it their very their their very advanced and evolved brains allow them to project their minds across time and space. Okay. <clears throat> so we have two actions left. Do we want to try keep going? Or should we try and get rid of the stuff? Sure. Let's we're gonna try and investigate with alienation. We are three to two. Z 
zero. Okay. So instead of discovering clues, we discard this. And then we'll take a horror. This is our fourth action because we've had a free scan. Take a horror to discard this. And then we end our turn here, so we heal a horror. Okay. Okay. Sorry, these should all be together. I don't know why they're separate. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So if we scan from here, we'll probably get the thing, which is not great. However, we do have the ability to evade. Maybe deal some damage, maybe. Sure. No, no, let's wait one more turn. What's on top? Oh, we could use the Universal Archives to scan from Olympus Telescope. Sure, let's do it. <clears throat> so let's... Hello! Um, okay, I don't know what happened. We lost... I, I lost about 10 minutes of footage. I don't know why that happened. But let me catch you up. Okay, so what I just saw is that the last thing we did was we looked at Moon Base Laboratory. You cannot scan while there are clues on it, and if your starship is attached here, then after three rounds, it's gonna put this Domag Teal enemy into play. That's what that is. The next turn happened, we got some encounter cards. We got the Solar Eclipse card and some things, whatever. And then we scanned Hope. We got the Martian Crab, and we were able to defeat it. Combination of the Sickles and Vincent. The Sickles would uh, put enough Doom on, so we we're gonna advance. But before we did that, we're gonna, we actually went to Olympus Telescope, investigated Moonbase Laboratory, committing deduction to get three clues. So that was very good. Okay, I think that should catch you up. <clears throat> Otherwise, right now the plan is to try and find that thing that the Threshold of Yogath needs. What is that called? It, uh, the Stasis Cube, that's what we're trying to look for. I think it's somewhere on Mars, so we're looking for it. But before we do that, we have to advance the agenda. So again, 100 apologies. That's where it is. Okay. Months have passed since you've begun your mission to save the, ver the various colonies. You've traveled between the planets and met many strange and interesting people. Some have been helpful, helping you get accustomed to the technology of the future or pointing you towards the right direction. Most, however, have regarded you with suspicion and wariness because of the past you must unfortunately wear on your shoulders. The colonies of humanity scrambled to survive the blast in any way possible. Many decide to launch the starship into deep space, hoping to escape the blast, even though the current generation of vessels do not have the speed necessary to escape the danger zone. The majority of colonists strive to make the most out of the last few years humanity has left. Shuffle the set aside Haster's Gaze Encounter Set, <clears throat> along with the Encounter Discard Pile, into the Encounter Deck, then set uh, the above off. Um, I also should mention, because we defeated the Martian Crab, we were able to get uh, Last Hope uh, into play and we spent the clues as well as the shielding device to get it into the victory display. So we were one out of three, basically. <clears throat> okay. Our final agenda, Supernova. The end is nigh. The sun's core is decaying at an extraordinary rate. The billion years that humans once believed it had before the star sputters out and dies has been reduced to only a handful of months. There isn't much time left before your entire world is uh, annihilated. Free trigger, six doom. Amina's encounter card is Space Pirates, nearest space starship location. As an action, spend resources equal to Space Pirates' remaining health. Parlay, discard Space Pirates. Vincent draws alienation. We've seen this before. Okay, so Vincent, you're going to double action investigate the Olympus Telescope to target Moonbase Alpha, <laughs> Moonbase Alpha, Jesus, Moonbase Laboratory. We're investigating at four, five, six to three right now, and I'll commit this on the mend and use Girish. So that's ten to three. <clears throat> Minus two, we get this clue. So now we can scan there. 
Uh, third action. Well, let's say bonus action. We're going to scan from here using Kate. We're looking for triangle. Triangle. Is that all the triangles? There are three. There are two more triangles. Derelict ship. Revelation. Put into play. Put into play. As an additional cost to scan at derelict ship, you must draw the top card of the encounter deck. Three shroud, one for clues. Um, we use Kate, so we will use that to draw a card. Scientific theory. Uh, let's see. Maybe we need to go to the ruins, actually. Yeah. So, third action, third action, do we have a thing? We do, actually. So, actually, we're going to Universal Archives and scan, because it's either, it's either Yuggeth or Soul. So, we'll scan for this one, because it says, um, scan as if you're at the location. The Pallid Mask. Put this card into play under the control of an investigator at your location. Free trigger, exhaust the Pallid Mask. Test three, intellect. If you succeed, you may move to any revealed location. If you fail, take a direct horror. Oh. Oh. So we can get to Moonbase Laboratory. Sure, let's just do that right now. So we're going to free trigger exhaust. Testing at a five to a three. Oh, we succeeded with Garish, by the way. So that would have healed the damage and we've been on the bend. So we're going to commit that to go seven to three. Sure. We fail, okay? We do fail. We take a direct horror. That's fine. So we'll, we'll try that next turn. <clears throat> okay. Amina, you're going to move to the Yithian Garden, the Martian Ruins. Yeah. You're going to attack with the Sickle. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight to three. Plus one, you deal two damage. Where is it? It's here. Let's use the other one. Uh, minus three, we do not fail. So we're good. <clears throat> Goes in victory display and we'll scan that later on okay enemies not a hunter go to upkeep i'll keep all these things amina is going to draw war of protection vincent's going to draw end of the road oh we have two end of the roads one two three we have seven cards our hand size is reduced by two so let's discard uh Let's discard this archive of conduits at this point. We're not doing much. We're not doing much healing. Get a resource. <clears throat> okay. There was one, two, minus six. I mean, this card is Solar Eclipse. So this one, as I said before, in the recap, we had this card, but it's basically that card from Dream Meters. Um, when you investigate, you either take a horror or get plus two shrouds. Vincent, Solar Flare. Test Agility 4. For each point you fail by, you must either choose and discard a card from your hand or take a damage and a horror. Okay. Uh, we're going to use Garish to go 3 to 4. I'm going to commit this precious memento to go 5 to 4. Minus two, we fail by one. So we can take a damage and a horror. That's fine. <clears throat> okay. So who wants to get the free scan? It depends on what Vincent does. So let's have Vincent go first. He's gonna exhaust this mask for five, five to three. 
Uh, I'm going to commit this look what I found to go seven to three. <clears throat> Minus one. We will use that to move to the moon base laboratory. Very nice. Uh, currently, the this one is on top. That's okay. We were going to use the free scan to scan for hash. Hash. Here it is. K11 survey unit. Oh, I didn't expect that. Uh, put this card into play in the throw the action. Choose a connecting location and exhaust K11 survey unit. Search for the topmost card in the scanning deck with an icon matching the chosen location and draw it. Shuffle the scanning deck. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay. That didn't really help. Connecting location. There are no connecting locations right now. <coughs> um, okay. So Amina needs to get the thing. That's what Amina needs to do. Vincent could probably just stay here for now. Yeah. Yeah. So he has two actions left. Right? No, that was free. That was free. Oh, okay, sorry. We need to resolve Kate. Uh, we'll draw a card with Kate. It is Grey's Anatomy. Hmm. So we still have three actions. So actually, I think that he can probably get ready to receive Amina. Yeah. So we're going to actually use the Tattered Demalion to attach it to Moonbase Laboratory. I'll just put it here. He's going to free trigger there. He has two actions left. Uh... And then he's going to fight with the this thing, the bone saw. We are three, four, five, six. Ah, whatever. We're just going to parlay. We're just going to par parlay it off, actually. Spend four. Discard this thing. We have one action left. We'll gain a resource. <clears throat> Amina, scan for square. Square. There it is. The stasis cube. There it is. Um, what am I, what am I looking for? Right. The stasis cube. Put the put in play of, uh, double action, test three, intellect. If you succeed, remove a doom from the current agenda and cross that one tally mark under impending doom in your campaign log. Group limit one success per game. Okay. So that goes to Amina. Uh, second action. Move here. Uh... <clears throat> I guess we actually need a clue, though. So actually, in fact, we're going to use the bonus action on the... Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. We are for sure not doing that. <clears throat> uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Second, uh, Sorry. Second action move here. Oh yeah, now third action, you can do this because it says per, per investigator and then we go on here. Okay, okay. So we have all the things. We literally just need one more clue. Okay, I think we're doing fine. We're doing great. We're doing great. Do we want to scan for soul? Let's do it. Okay, let's go to enemy phase. Nothing happens. Let's go to upkeep. Uh, this goes away at the end of the round. Amina's going to draw Astral Mirror. Vince is going to draw Lucky. He has six cards in his hand, which meets his hand size. Yep. Okay, okay. I think we're doing okay. We're two of six. Amina's going to draw Anachronism. I am going to ward this. Goes away, we can take a horror. Vincent will draw alienation again. That's fine. Doesn't hurt us. Whew. Okay. Right. So we need one more clue. If Amina can get one clue and she has the stasis cube. So who needs the stasis cube? Who needs the stasis cube? Yugath. Yugath needs the stasis cube. 
So we're going to attach, attach like this. this. That's Amina's first action. <clears throat> we are going to free trigger. We are going to... Mm. We are going to bonus action, play the Dowsing Rod, putting a Doom on it, reducing its cost by three. Switching it with a copy of Ceremonial Sickle to attach it to El Rubash. <clears throat> and then that was a bonus action. So first action, bonus action. Second action, we're going to investigate Yagath with the Dowsing Rod using the bottom action, using our intellect. So we are three, four, five to two. I'm going to commit the Eldritch Initiation and the Moonlight Ritual. <clears throat> that puts us at seven to two. We're revealing two tokens as a reminder. Uh, that's a total of minus six. Jesus. We failed. Three, four, five, six, seven to two. Uh, okay. So, we do not fail by two or more. We do fail by one. So we can take a horror for each point we fail by. Just one. That's okay. These go away. So we have one action remaining. I think we're just going to use it to move here. And then we have the stasis cube. Remove from the game, spend two per clues as a group. So remove the stasis cube, two per, that's three plus one. Add this to the victory display. And that's Amina. I think what we'll do actually is we'll have Vincent try and teleport over to Mount Sinai so we can, or actually, I guess to New Brooklyn. Yeah, we need a clue somehow. Okay, so this should be ready. <clears throat> We're gonna use the teleport four, five to three, six, seven to three. We're going to teleport to New Brooklyn. Seven to four. Minus three, succeed by zero, perfect. Right, because we were four, five, six, seven to four, minus three, we're good. So we successfully teleport and that was fast. We also heal here, so we're going to heal a damage, getting it on the mend. We're going to investigate. We are, sorry, we actually spent, that was a, so we still have a bonus action for press pass. Good. We spent clues. <clears throat> Investigating. Four, five, six to two. Sure. Well, I'll commit this on the map. Eight to two. Zero, we get a clue. And that was our first action, which is a bonus action. So first, second action, move to Mount Sinai. We have the Universal Archives. Yep, remove from the game. Spend two per clues. We've successfully done all the things. Um, so we have two actions left. <clears throat> we should go get Amina. So we're going to action this free trigger over here. Then we have an action left. We will, uh, gain a resource. 
Okay. Ooh, okay, so we need at least two more turns to be for Amina to be able to resign. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's go to upkeep. No enemies. Amina will draw power word. That's a card. Vincent will ready everything up. Vincent will draw Jeremiah Kirby. That's a card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have to discard a card. It'll be this Gray's Anatomy. Okay, so there's a total of four Doom in play because of this Doom on the Sickle right now. Amina draws Grim Future. When the act or agenda advances, we have to do the thing. Take a damage or a horror and a horror and test three agility. Let's just give that to Amina herself. Vincent will draw Space Pirates that spawns out of Vincent. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Amina, move here. Attach Tatter the Malian. Free trigger. That's two actions. Third action. Spend for Reese's to parlay this guy. Now the question is, where do we resign? Hope or New Brooklyn? I resigned at Hope every time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to New Brooklyn. So action here. Uh, have them both move out. <clears throat> um, I think Vincent then resigns. Vincent resigns. Yeah, Vincent's gone. Okay, it's up to you, Amina. Draw a card. Dowsing Rod, get a resource. A total of four plus one is five doom out of six. Amina's encounter card is Grim Future. Sure. We're going to resign. We take two damage and two horror. I guess we technically do this before the thing advances, so let's just try it out. We have to test three agility twice. Three to three. Uh, take a horror for each point fill. Or, oh, we can place a doom. We know we're going to get out of this. That puts another two doom. And then test the other one. Skull, we failed that. Okay, and then we successfully resign because that doesn't cause it to advance, right? Yep. Oh my God, <laughs> what a journey. The wait. You gather with the citizens of the colonies inside the underground shelters and Pray that whatever play what sorry whatever plans the officials have come up with to endure the blast will succeed. Resolution one. Whew, okay. Let me zoom in. Does that look okay for y'all? Yep. A brilliant light shines over the solar system. The cataclysmic supernova radiates through the void, annihilating all unprotected life and stripping all the heavenly bodies of their precious atmosphere, leaving barren worlds in its wake. In your campaign log, record that the sun went supernova and wiped out most of the solar system. If repairing the threshold is in the victor display, in your campaign log, record that the Migos safely returned to their homeworld. If last hope is in the victor display, in your campaign log, record that hope was shielded from the blast. The investigators who resign in hope read Beyond Hope. If Project Origami is in the victory display, record that the UCC escaped to another galaxy. The investigators who resigned in New Brooklyn read Far, Far Away. If none of the story cards mentioned above were in the victory display, the remaining investigators must read The End 1, otherwise they read The End 2. So, we both resigned in New Brooklyn, and we do have that in the victory display, so we go to uh, Far, Far Away. That's right there. <clears throat> the scientists of Sinai activated the space-time warping device moments before the blast. The colony of New Brooklyn was jaunted along the fold of space-time towards a new galaxy and a new future. The destination, 
A prospective binary system of many exoplanets appears to be safe and far beyond the reach of the ancient ones of the old world. You live the rest of your days helping humanity build outposts under the virgin skies of a new home, a planet that settlers will call paradise. You recount stories of your life on Earth to your descendants, stories that will become fairy tales and eventually legends. The inhabitants upon the new world live and work together in peace and prosperity. It is the dawn of a new beginning for mankind. And yet you wonder, as you look up to the light of your new stars, how long until they too inevitably decay and humanity will once more need to escape extinction. In your campaign log, record that your investigator lived the remainder of their days on paradise. The investigators win the campaign. Proceed to epilogue. And then we have to read for, wait for everyone else, but we're already here. <clears throat> okay, epilogue it is. Okay. Check campaign log. If Hope was shielded from the blast or the UCC escaped to another galaxy, we proceed to epilogue one. They did. Despite all odds, humanity survived the second apocalypse. Beneath the light of new stars and amidst the dust of the dead, humanity enters a golden era of scientific development and prosperity. When the white dwarf that used to be the sun extinguishes, mankind will have colonized half a galaxy worth of stars. Some of the worlds will succumb to the madness of the ancient ones, but most will survive and thrive. And yet, after billions and billions of years, the net entropy of the universe continues to increase, slowly and steadily. The stars go dim, one by one, until what the beings that descended from what was once humanity must survive by extracting the negligible amount of radiation released by the only celestial bodies remaining in the universe, black holes. And still, after a finite but uncountable time, even the black holes will evaporate. If the Migos safely returned to their homeworld, which I believe they did, I didn't actually write it down. Uh, they did. <clears throat> uh, proceed to epilogue four. But humanity is not alone. They have encountered countless alien species throughout the universe and shared their knowledge and advancements towards finding a way to reverse entropy. The final piece of the puzzle was information that had been collected by the Migo scientists of Yaga. The data within six human brains that was once populated a kindergarten class on Earth before the ancient ones first awakened. And thus, with the essential help of the Migo, the royal family of Carcosa was imprisoned in their mad realm of Carcosa once more and yellow stars rose, uh, rise again in the rebirth of a brighter universe. In your campaign log, record that Haster and Tisilda are imprisoned in Carcosa once more, and the universe vanquished the inevitable for now. We did it! Oh my god. Holy shit. That ending is always very, very long. <clears throat> but we did it! Whew. Yeah. So that was Dark Matter. Um, wow, what a great custom campaign. I think that, you know, it has some finicky things that I didn't notice, um, when you're, you know, not playing it in person. Um, a lot of the, like, in the last scenario, a lot of, like, the flipping locations with tokens still on them gets, like, a really, really annoying when you have to do it a lot. Um, this one in particular, like, I, I think this is a phenomenal final scenario. Like, if you know what you're doing, then you can really you know, find your pathways and stuff. I obviously had issues with Doom. I think that if you Doom out, you actually just lose, right? Yeah, <laughs> if you just, you just Doom out. But, um, yeah, this is a great final scenario. Um, before we go, I'm going to briefly give my thoughts on Amina and Vincent, um, since this is my first time playing both investigators. So, for Amina, skill value is the huge problem. Um, her, you can really feel these threes in her stats. Um, I think I undervalued the skill value on the sickle because normally that's not a big issue for other mystics to get their skill value really high. But for Amina getting plus four to the attack, if you put a doom on it, that's, that's really big. Um, that being said, you basically note, you don't go with willpower stuff. Like the sickle and the dowsing rod are just better with your stats. So it's, a, it's an interesting thing there. I think though that the Brennica Thugga was hugely clutch because Otherwise, like, I, I would not have had the damage output that I needed. Once I got this, everything was going a lot better, I think. Um, El Rubash and Sin Eater are some, like, are, they are absolutely necessary in order to make this archetype work. Because having a free doom to be placed on these things, and then having 
um, the bonus for El Rubash after putting the things. Combos obviously well with Amina's ability to discount the cost. I think that she had some issues with using the resources that she was saving, but it did mean that we didn't have to put any economy in her deck, so that's good. <clears throat> um, I didn't get to the saturation of hand assets like I would have for Astral Mirror. Obviously, I have three hand assets out right now, which is nice, and that was because of Astral Mirror. Um, mostly, it's that play action, I feel like, that's really helping me. But again, you have to have a lot of these item assets to fill your hand for this, so... Maybe Amina just with Dowsing Run and Sickle aren't the best. Maybe you need cards like Ritual Candles and Onyx Pentacle even to actually make this work. Um, but, you know, if you're going Binder's Jar, then maybe we'll have lots of hands. We'll see. <clears throat> okay, as for Vincent, Vincent is really, really good, but not in a traditional Seeker way, if that makes sense. He doesn't have insane clue compression, at least from the cards that I have. Um, he can get really big numbers. You know, Gear of Kadakia, Scientific Theory, all of the yellow cards, obviously. He can get lots of actions with things like Press Pass and Saved Actions. And obviously his healing is very good. Mostly this on the mend, I think I, I, I went uh, the wrong direction when trying to make him a Flex Kluver. I think he's actually better as a Flex Fighter, almost. Um, comboing with the on the mend with... Bonesaw and Girish Kadakia is like insanely good because the damage therefore doesn't become a downside. You put it on Girish, heal it with Girish to get on the men to be able to, to succeed on your Bonesaw attacks. That with scientific theory and like, you know, having Gray's Anatomy one hand, Bonesaw the other, I, I think that he could do really, really well as a flex fighter actually, even with the three combat. And even when he doesn't have enemies, he can just still investigate with four four. For intellect, so I think that's really, really good. I think that Girish Kadakia is insane, and part of the reason why I won this campaign, because getting that two skill value across, and then being able to commit cards like Inspiring Presence, um, to Girish to be able to heal him again and ready him again is that's really, really good. Um, notably, I don't think that's actually an issue for a lot of people, the skill value thing. But Amina, Vincent with his combat, maybe Carson, right? Um, Charlie, obviously, uh, that's, it's, it's really, really good. Um, and the healing, he, Vincent, like, never had to die once he had Gearish out. It was really, really good. All right, so those are my thoughts on Amita and Vincent. I think by this time this comes out, the Scarlet Keys campaign expansion should be out. So hopefully either that's already going up to the channel or should be going up to the channel pretty soon. Until then, if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. It really helps out the channel. This has been Superfake99, signing off.